Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia following his visit to the facility in 2017. Subsequently, a building committee set up to re-strategize, among others, designed the model for the building. The equipment list required for the facility has also been finalized. The facility will include support services such as diagnostic and imaging, clinical psychology wings and staff quarters, as well as an education and research center. The structure is also designed to accommodate any amendments in the future and to adequately maintain it, a business model to generate revenue has been added. In addition to the wards and consulting rooms, the hospital will have private suites to comfortably accommodate patients and their families. Inpatient services will be ongoing during the construction. Plans are also in place to repatriate and reintegrate patients back into the community. Community. As a result, the staff size will also be trimmed down. In collaboration with the Ministry of Health, the Ghana Health Service, and the Christian Health Association of Ghana and others, the staff are to be redeployed into the community to offer psychiatric services. This is to deinstitutionalize mental health care in the country. Funding for the projects will be absorbed by government's agenda 111. The concept underlining this project will, one, change the face of mental health in Ghana as a whole, forever. It will help reduce the stigma towards mental illness, our clients and the professionals ourselves who work in the mental health care delivery system. It will also help bring mental health care delivery to the doorstep of the average Ghanaian. That is in response to some views that the hospital should be relocated, consultant psychiatrist Professor Sami Ohene said that would further reinforce the stigma meted out to patients. We are looking at admitting people who have an acute need for care. A very disturbed individual will be brought into the hospital, sometimes within three days, four days a week. They are better, and then they are discharged. There are many people with mental illness. Not all of them re require to be on admission in hospital. Majority of people can be treated as outpatients. For those who require admission, for many of them, a week, maximum two weeks, is more than enough to get them to the stage where they can continue treatment from home or in the community. Management of the hospital say the 14-acre land have not been sold to any private investor. Zero four.